Chiropractors realize that anything can cause anything. One example is a tight jaw muscle will cause the normal head movement to be reduced. This will cause the forward stride of one or both front legs to be decreased as the time for forward swing of the limb is determined by the amount of time the head is going up. A lack of forward motion in one or both forelimbs will have dramatic effect on the rest of the animal. First, the front foot will not land properly. This will increase degenerative forces in the lower limb as the tendons and ligaments will not be stretched on impact. A tight tendon and ligament can absorb these forces and store them as kinetic energy. The back legs will not be able to achieve a full stride unless the animal is circling. The back legs can't travel farther than the front. This short stride in the rear end will reduce motion along the back, causing the muscle in the loin to become tight and sore. Sore back muscles may cause the animal to be unable to breathe properly, causing a buildup of CO2 in the blood. This leads to acidosis and an animal that drinks a lot and almost always is urinating inappropriately. Long-term health problems can result from many of these issues. We find it, fix it, and allow the body's innate healing mechanisms time to work. Altered limb swinging, winging or paddling, means that there is an imbalance in the muscles that hold the leg towards the body, or adductors, and the muscles that move the limb away from the body, or abductors. Proper movement in the animal requires every muscle, ligament, tendon, bone, and joint in the body to move to take a step. Uneven muscle use in an animal is due to lack of nerve flow to the area, not lack of use. Hippocrates in 400 BC is quoted as saying, The doctor of the future will look well to the spine for the causes of disease. Altered motion in the way the legs are being carried during their movement can alter the animal's ability to know where its legs are. Lack of proprioception, the ability to interpret the environment, can make it dangerous to ride a horse in some conditions or exercise a dog. An animal that is unable to rotate at the shoulder will be unable to pick its front feet up. This may make it appear to have tender feet when walking on gravel. The certified animal chiropractor will look to the areas of the spine to remove restrictions that allow the nervous system to communicate properly and help restore the gait to a normal pattern. Movement is life. It requires constant feedback from the environment and firing of the muscles to be correct. Flexor and extensor muscles must work together. Most owners are amazed at the difference after an accurate chiropractic adjustment, having an animal that has good function at the base of the skull, which influences the rest of the body. The joints of the legs are controlled by the muscles above them. These muscles are controlled by the nerves that exit the spinal column. We look well to the spine for the causes of disease, to quote Hippocrates. Subluxations relate to the lameness exam for two reasons. The pain that comes along with misalignments of the spine can make it difficult to move. Your animal may seem stiff or inflexible. You may notice that asking them to perform a task or chore is just a little more difficult than it used to be. Compounding the problem, many times people will make animals who are in pain rest and tend to limit their exercise and general movement, which can then make the stiffness worse. If your animal's flexibility is growing worse, getting their spine checked and aligned may just be the ticket to improve performance. The subluxation may cause a problem with gait due to the altered muscle function of the muscles supplied by the nerves that exit the spine at the level of the subluxation. Muscle tone or relaxation is determined by the nervous system communicating with the synapses in the muscle and the ability of the brain to receive feedback from the muscle and surrounding tissue. If the animal is unable to react to its environment appropriately, then the tone of the muscle may be inappropriate. The certified animal chiropractor will only make one diagnosis, vertebral subluxation. It is difficult to know without seeing the animal to know if these are present. It is impossible to know without adjusting the animal to know if removing the nerve inference that is present in the body will allow the animal's innate wisdom to restore a homeostatic condition that is health. So, what is subluxation? The short answer is that a subluxation is a misalignment of the vertebrae of the spine. This can happen due to all sorts of reasons, and the side effects can vary from animal to animal. But one thing that all sufferers have in common is that these subluxations definitely harm their health and should be corrected. These misalignments create pressure or irritation on the various nerves in the spine and can cause a wide variety of symptoms throughout your animal's body, such as localized pain, soreness, imbalance, and weakness. When pressure is applied on a nerve in the spine, the nerve energy is interrupted, which can profoundly affect the function of other systems or organs in the body. 
Dr. Chung Ha Su of the University of Colorado showed that even a small pressure, about the weight of a dime on a nerve, can reduce the function of the nerve by 60% and that the nerve will start to degenerate if the pressure is sustained for three hours. Chiropractic optimizes brain-to-body communication and allows your animal to adapt to life's many stresses. The brain controls and coordinates the entire living experience. It controls your animal's heart, liver, lungs, kidneys, immune system, and every moment of their life. Your animal's brain allows them to sleep well and gives them energy during the day. Therefore, many owners that understand this communication choose to get their animals checked on a regular basis for as long as they own animals. They get all the animals checked, not just the ones that are a little off or have a big competition coming up. The brain sends the signals down through the spinal cord and out the spine to the entire body. Signals are constantly going back and forth. When this happens at an optimal rate, the body is in a state of function. The organs are functioning. The immune system is working. The blood cells are doing their job. When this is going on, the body is in a state of ease. Your animal was designed to be healthy, not sick and fatigued. When this is going on, your animal is in a state of health and feels good. This normal pattern is what every owner is looking for in their animals. It is the optimal goal and what is possible when the nervous system is working correctly. Subluxations are caused by stresses, physical, chemical, emotional. Physical stresses are the easiest to identify. Birth, falls, slips, and stumbles can all lead to subluxations. Standing still for hours on end can be a physical stress for a horse. Sitting in a cage can be stressful to a dog. Chemical stress can be as simple as too much sugar in the food, chemicals in the air, and weed killers sprayed on the ingredients in the food you feed your animals. The bug repellent you spray on your animals to make them more comfortable can cause subluxations. Emotional stresses may not be as obvious in your animal as they are in you, but they are still there. When you are in a foul mood, that will stress your animals. We cannot remove all of the stresses in your animal's environment, but we can remove the ones that we can control and put good input into the body by removing the subluxations and allow our animal's brain-body communication to function at 100%. Help keep your animals as stress-free as possible. Schedule an appointment with an AVCA certified chiropractor today.